Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome in if this is your first video with me, welcome back if it is not. Either way, I am so thankful that you are here and I am so grateful that you've decided to spend just a little bit of your day with me today. Uh, as you saw from the title of this video, we are going to do a Mickey Loot unboxing. Here's our Mickey Loot box, um, but this isn't just any regular old Mickey Loot box. This is a Coco Mickey Loot box. Okay, so everything inside this box is Coco themed. Like I mentioned in my first Mickey Loot monthly subscription unboxing, uh, Mickey Loot does theme boxes where everything is themed to one movie or one character or one IP. Um, I saw this Coco one and I had to jump on it because Coco is my favorite. So if you wanna unbox this with me, then let's get started. I'm Rachel, and this is Attainable Disney. Yay! So, first things first, forgive me. I know I probably don't look like my cute self. It's been a long day. <laughs> um, it is late at night. <laughs> it's like nine something. Um, I was just getting ready for bed, frankly, and this box showed up. Um, it is not unusual for our mail to be delivered this late at night. God bless the U.S. Postal Service and how hard they are all working to bring us our mail every day. Um, but yes, it is a very normal, very regular occurrence for us to get our mail this late. Um, and this box showed up and I was going to wait until tomorrow to open it. And then I was like, wait, tomorrow's a work day, which means I'm going to have to wait till like after work tomorrow, which was going to be like 24 hours until I could open it. And I was like, you know what? Not doing it. I want to open it. I can't just let it sit here and not open it. So, hair in a bun, sweatshirt on, here we go. Also, this video, I'm probably gonna move this video up in the rotation a little bit, so let's just discuss the new background. I really like it. Um, I really feel like it pops. It's a lot darker than the other background. I don't know, so I feel like it, it, it really pops. Uh, the frozen background isn't going anywhere, don't worry. I just wanted to have something a little different to shake it up every now and then. I would love to hear what you guys think. Just some, you know, Princess Jasmine, Genie, Aladdin vibes. Let me know. All right, so the first thing I see on top is this. Okay, so Dante, I love him. He's, oh my God, I love him. I love Dante so much. Um, in my normal Mickey loot boxes, like on my normal preferences, he's listed as one of my favorite characters. So this is really just exciting. Um, it says, Rachel, nothing is more important than family. Thank you for being a part of ours, Mickey loot. This is the spoiler sheet, which we are not going to look at. Um, so for reference, this is the B ticket box. So they have A, B, C, D, E. So A starts at $40 and they go all the way up to E, which is $300. Um, that applies to both their monthly boxes and their one-off theme boxes like these. Um, so like this is my first theme box, like my first one-off box. Um, as well as I only had one monthly subscription. So I'm not like a Mickey Loot expert yet, but I believe that your normal preferences that you have for your monthly boxes don't necessarily apply to the theme boxes. I don't think that they look at those, um, but there is a little box when you order the, the theme box, it says like anything that we should know. Um, and I, the only thing I really put in there was don't give me ears. Ask for like a shirt size. So, okay. so. We know that like all Mickey Lou boxes come with this, like the stuffing, like they have the glitter inside. I don't know if it's gonna show up, but like all their stuffing has the glitter inside, which is just like cute and like what like a nice little like special touch. But look at the marigold leaves. Such a like completely unnecessary detail, but like so wonderful and so lovely and so thoughtful. It really, like that says to me that like the person that put this together 
probably loves Coco as much as I do, which really means a lot. So like normal, everything in the box is wrapped individually, which we love because it's just Christmas all over. I think this might be a mug. Which I don't have any, I don't have any Coco mugs. So this would be cool. Okay. So let's, I may have to do this. Okay, so look at that. So look at the detail. Look at the little Miguel in the flame on the candle. What? Whole family, Mama Imelda, Dante, Hector. Look at that, Ernesto. The guitar whew, as the handle. And then on the back it says, remember me. This does appear to be a Disney Parks item. Should we do, let's, we'll save the big one. These two little ones, pins. So let's go ahead and open these. And even look, even the color of the paper is like on theme. Mm. Okay, so here's our Ernesto de la Cruz pin. It's like a flag pin. I don't know if, is that focusing? There we go. So this is a lounge fly pin. Um, I've seen this on Box Lunch like a bunch of times. Never really pulled the trigger. Um, like I like it. I mean, I don't, I'm not like, <gasps> Um, but yeah, but I'm happy to have it. Looks, is from the parks. It says, remember me. It's got Miguel as a, as a skeleton. And his face was painted, the guitars. That's awesome. I really like that. Very happy to have this. Very happy to have this. I don't know what this is. Okay, so it's an amazing pin. Advertising the family shoe store with Dante eating a shoe. Wow. Seriously, how awesome is that? I love Dante so much. I love Dante. Love Dante so much. This is so cute. The family sign. Like this is the whole family, which is like the core of the movie, right? I mean, this is why Coco was so good is the whole family. I love like the shoe business. Um, plus Dante. I mean, that's just so cute. I feel like this packaging that it comes in is just stunning. So our last item is this big one. I'm like 90% sure that I know what it is and I'm stoked about it. So let's go. So this is exactly what I thought it was. Holy moly. So this is huge. This is this is a big pop. This is not a regular pop. This is, this is the big old pop. <laughs> uh, it says it glows in the dark, which I did not know. Ooh. Let me just go ahead and stress everybody out and just take her right out of the box. Wow. So just for like context, like here's like a regular pop. Just so you could see like how much bigger she is. Ooh, I, this is another one I've seen on Box Lunch like a bunch of times. Never pulled the trigger because I felt like it was like too expensive or like just like out of my price range for like a figurine. Um, but like, I'm so glad to have it. Um, Pepita is another one who was like on my regular, my regular preferences is like a character that I love. Um, I mean, how could you not? I mean, this is incredible.
You want to see if it glows in the dark? So, you know, kind of. So we've got our spoiler sheet here. So the uh, Ornesto Banner Pin, 890. Um, the Riviera Familia pin was $15.99. That was a park item. Um, the mug was a park item, $22.99. The Pepita Pop, $22.99. And the uh, round uh, Remember Me pin, also a park item at $9.99. So, that brings uh, the total for the box to $80.77. Um, I paid $75. Not like a huge added value there, but but it's a bit, so that's fine by me. Um, it's some added value in the sense that I had never seen, um, I have never seen this pin before. Um, so it, like, I don't know if I would have had the opportunity to buy this and I would have wanted to, so I'm really excited to have this. Um, very excited to have the mug. Um, very excited to drink my Lucky Charms Swiss Miss hot cocoa out of this because I'm an adult. This is just so classic cocoa and like um, so recognizable, so I love this. This, I mean, I could take it or leave it. I mean, maybe I'll use it as a trader. I don't know. I'll think about this. And then this, I mean, I love this. I love this and I didn't have the guts to buy it for myself. So thank you. Thank you, Mickey Lou, for doing that for me. And this card, I mean, not part of like the financial value of the box, but like I said, this is like, I mean, high quality like cardstock with this print on it. It's actually like, like I said, it's like really high quality. So I'm actually, I'm really glad to own this too. I'm sure by now you guys can hear my cats scratching at the door. They are over it. They want to go to bed. They need me. Uh, like I said, it's very late at night here. So um, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for humoring me. Thank you for opening this with me. Um, thank you for following along to all my videos. Um, this has been so fun. Um, I mean, it hasn't, it hasn't even been two months yet that I've been doing this and I am about to hit 100 subscribers. Um, I have no idea if that's like fast or slow or like, like, I don't know, but to me, that seems insane. I don't know if like in context of the greater YouTube, if that is like a big deal or not, but to me to already be at like a hundred people watching my videos is nuts. So thank you guys so much for all of your support and watching all of my videos. Um, please come follow me on Instagram. I would love to chat and get to know you guys. Um, let me know what your favorite let me know what your favorite item was that we got today. Uh, let me know your thoughts, what you guys think. If you have gotten any of these theme boxes from Mickey Lou, if you're thinking about getting any, uh, I am so pleased. Um, I can never have enough cocoa stuff, so I'm so happy. Um, so thank you guys so much. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.